Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continued support to my channel. I really appreciate your support. So today in this video, as usual, we are going to be doing daily technical analysis in gold, US dollar currency pairs. Before that, let us look at the current trend of the price action in dollar index. So usually when the dollar index is in a bullish trend, we can expect an opposite trend in gold, USD or vice versa price action. And we can see more correlation in the higher time frame rather than in the lower time frames i mean four hours time frame of dollar index and when we look at the current trend of the price action it is continuously in a bearish trend and after taking a support around the support level of 103 we have noticed a price action to bounce back on the bullish side retracement but it has not broken the previous highs let us look at the price action in gold usd currency pairs i mean daily time frame of gold and in the past, we have noticed a price action to continuously trend on the bearish side. And every time it falls, we have noticed a price action to retrace, then to continue with bearish side trend. When the price action wanted to make a trend reversal, we have noticed it to hit the support level several times, then to bounce back on the bullish side retracement. Again, when it wants to continue with bullish side trend, we have noticed it to make a retracement, then to continue with bullish side retracement also so based on the past price action when the price action wants to make a trend reversal it tests the support level several times before making a trend reversal on the bullish side and when we look at the present trend every time it retraces on the bounce back it is making a new high which confirms that the current bullish trend is still valid so based on the current trend i'm going to draw a bullish channel pattern i connect the lows of the past price action which is currently forming into a support line and also i have connected the highs of the past price action, which is currently acting as a resistance line and current trend of the price action is trading within this bullish channel pattern on the bullish trend now we know the current trend of the price action now the next question will come how to decide on the entry point but deciding on the right entry will have a huge impact on your ROI return on investment. We know that the Friday's market closed around the level of 1794 and if the market opens above this previous high on Monday, it will be a continuation of the bullish side retracement. But again entering into a bullish side trade immediately when the market opens will be a wrong entry. You have to wait for the price action to make a little bit of retracement. As long as the price action is trading above this previous low which is going to be around 1773 the current bullish trend will continue and make entry at the lowest point of the next candle or the following candle you have to wait for the next candle also to close in order to get the confirmation on the continuation of the bullish side trend and on the following candle which is going to be the third candle you can decide on your entry point which will have a better roi because we know that the current trend is on the bullish side and we know that the current market is not making a bearish side trend reversal and also it is a confirmation on the bullish trend continuation but again this is on the daily time frame you have to make all this analysis in the lower time frame 30 minutes or the hourly time frame would be better so for now in daily time frame if the market opens above this previous high of 1794 we can expect the bullish side retracement to continue in daily time frame and if the price action opens below the previous low of 1773 we can expect the bearish side retracement to continue in daily time frame so these are all the resistance levels and the support levels for daily time frame currently the price action is trying to break the resistance level of 1794 once the price action breaks this resistance level of 1794 next level of resistance it's going to be around 1847 and only when the price action breaks the resistance level of 1847 we can expect it to test the resistance level of 1900 and on the beery side once the price action breaks the support level of 1773 we can expect a beery side retracement to start and next level of support is going to be around 1730 and only when the price action breaks this support level of 17.30, we can expect a bearish side trend reversal to start in hourly time frame. 
and next level of support is going to be around 1700 and to make it simple as long as the price action is trading within this bullish channel pattern we can expect the bullish trend to continue in daily time frame let us look at the price action in 4 hours time frame I'm in 4 hours time frame now and we know from the daily time frame that the current trend of the price action is in a bullish trend as long as it doesn't break this bullish channel pattern trend line or the support line and currently also we have noticed a price action to take support around this support level of 1773 and to bounce back on the bullish side retracement let us look at the current trend in 4 hours time frame I'm connecting the previous highs and lows previously this line had acted as a support line where we have noticed a price to bounce back and after breaking this support line this line had acted as a resistance line and since the price action couldn't break this resistance line we have noticed a price action to bounce back on the bearish side retracement and again it has taken support on the daily time frame bullish channel pattern trend line and we are noticing the bounce back on the bullish side retracement again i'm going to draw one more trend line or a resistance line connecting the previous lows and currently we are noticing this line to be acting as a resistance line for the present price action so only when the price action manages to break this resistance line we can expect the bullish side retracement to continue in 4 hours time frame so if the price action doesn't manage to break this resistance line we can expect the bearish trend to start from this resistance line so i would recommend you to wait for the price action to break this resistance level of 1794 in order to take a bullish side trade or wait for the price action to break this support level of 1773 in order to enter on a bearish side trade in 4 hours time frame let us look at the price action in hourly time frame i'm in hourly time frame and in hourly time frame we have a different view of the price action I have drawn a resistance line over here connecting the previous highs and we are noticing the price action to take support around the support level of 1773 and to bounce back on the bullish side retracement and again only when the price action breaks this previous trend line or the resistance line from the hourly time frame we can expect a further continuation of the bullish side retracement for now the price action in hourly time frame is on a bearish trend as long as it is trading below this resistance line from the hourly time frame and once the price action breaks the support level of 1773 we can expect the bearish trend to continue in hourly time frame also for now in hourly time frame we are seeing the price action to be consolidating within this resistance line and the support level of 1773 wait for a direction breakout on the bullish side or on the bearish side to take a direction trade in hourly time frame so the values within this red color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in hourly time frame currently the price action is trying to break the resistance level of 1794 and if the price action breaks this resistance level of 1794 next level of resistance it's going to be around 1800 1804 1809, 1815 and 1824 and if the price action fails to break the resistance level of 1794 next level of support on the bearish side is going to be around 1784, 1774 and once the price action breaks the support level next level of support is going to be around 1716 let us look at the price action in 30 minutes time frame I am in 30 minutes time frame and the current trend of the price action in 30 minutes time frame is in a continuous bullish trend and this level of 1794 is a very strong resistance level and if the market opens above this resistance level of 1794 it is a confirmation on the continuation of the bullish side retracement and if the price action bounces back from this resistance level of 1794 we can expect the bearish side retracement to start and next level of support from the higher time frame is going to be around 1774 so these are all going to be the resistance and support levels for current price action in 30 minutes time frame and if the price action breaks the resistance level of 1794 next level of resistance for 30 minutes time frame is going to be around 1799 1805 1814 
and 1825 and if the price action bounces back from the resistance level of 1794 next level of support on the bearish side is going to be around 1785 and 1773 let us mark the support and resistance levels for 15 minutes time frame. I mean 15 minutes time frame. Again in 15 minutes time frame also we are noticing the current trend to be on a bullish trend. And the market closed around the resistance level of 1794. For 15 minutes time frame I would recommend you to draw a trend line or a support line. And as long as the price action is trading above this trend line or the support line. We can expect the bullish side retracement to continue in. 15 minutes time frame and once the price action bridges this support line we can expect the BRE side retracement to start in 15 minutes time frame. So the values within this red color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in 15 minutes time frame and wait for the market to open on Monday if it opens above this resistance level of 1794 we can expect the bullish trend to continue in 15 minutes time frame also and the immediate resistance it's going to be around 1800 and if the price action bounces back from this resistance level of 1794 we can expect the bearish side retracement to start and the immediate support is going to be around 1790 1787 1784 1779 and 1773 thank you for watching this video if you have found this video to be useful press that like button and share this video with your friends.